What's good with you, YouTube? Welcome back, and today, back with another video. And today, um, I just want to specifically talk about semen retention. Um, this is 200 days, 200 plus days on semen retention, and this is uh, our like kind of what I experienced so far about this shit. Like, right? Because when you're holding your seat, you also gain a life, you also gain that creative energy. So I'm gonna I'll tell y'all. My experiences, whether or not like, whether or not this resonate with you or any type of manner of action, this is literally, lit, literally is about semen retention. So yeah, let's get started. First thing first, intimidation. This is video is gonna be titled intimidation, right? I am I am noticing that when you on semen retention, especially if you're on a long enough streak, uh. 200 days i think it starts around about 190 but like right about 190 then on up right so once you reach about like 200 or 190 something bro people are going to be intimidated by you i don't know what it is i don't know why but it's like people will be afraid to like i won't say to approach you but more so to just be in your presence like Y'all know what I'm saying? Like, they're going to be so afraid of you to the point where they're going to, like, go out of their way. No, not even go out of their way. They're going to do things to just, like, for example, when I was walking today at school, right? I was walking down the hallway. Mind my own business on my phone. It was like a group of people. Now, when I walked, it was like they all just kind of, like, move on to the side of shit when they saw me. I'm like, bro, what the hell? Like, I was kind of like, bro, what the fuck is this? Like, is something wrong with me? Like, it's, it is, it is really that, like, and it's like, I don't know what it is. And the only thing that I can really think of is... It's, I think it's semen retention because I heard that when you want semen retention, you're on a long ass streak, you're going to have people intimidate about you, about you. And, and I think I know the reason why for that is too, because people around you, they're not on the same frequency. They're not on the same, same vibration. They're not on the same energy level like you are, you know? So what they tend to do is them demons is going to tell them, to stay back from from you. To stay back from you. And they don't got to do nothing with you, bro. And they're going to try to throw you off your course. Yeah. They're going to throw you off your course. And how today's society and how this today day and age is, bro. Everything is so sexualized for men now. It's not even funny. So... What I'm thinking is that when you want semen retention, it's like you kind of have a shield, like a Christ-like armor, like like God armor around you. You know what I'm saying? Like you have a protection around you that repels you from any type of negative entities that's not on the same vibration or frequency on you because you are you are you are on your shit. You know? And it's crazy because I never like really seen that or experienced that before. And this is like, and this not happened to me this one time. It happened to me multiple times. Like I can be walking and a dude will like, and a random ass dude would just randomly open, open up the door and say, you can go on ahead. And this happened to me a lot, like a lot. So I'm like, kind of like, yo, like, this is crazy. And, and now to come to think about it, I'm starting to realize that, you know what? Men, as, as, bro, as men, we have so much of a powerful life force that we can literally create another human being. So what I'm guessing is that we have part of the creator in us. Just a fraction amount. But it's enough to make a whole other being. So understand that when you want semen retention, when you want like this journey of self-improvement, self-love on the spiritual journey, you're going to be alone. And it's going to be very, very tough for you to um, make friends because 
the people that you hang around with are not going to be with you, you know? So understand that this journey is not no joke. It's not no playtime. It's not no, like, like, you could do the same old shit. Because if you do the same old shit, I'm guarantee you fact, karma is going to hit twice as hard. Not, not even twice. Cry duple times harder. And, and... People that's on their shit, they know better. That's why they don't do stupid shit. Like that's why they don't go back to them old so that's the saying that you can't you can't change the old and and try to break the new because that shit won't bro that shit don't coexist. That that shit don't align with each other, bro. That shit doesn't make no sense. So understand that when you are seeing retention, you're going to be intimidated. And people are gonna ask you why you so cold. Why you so like you know, hold up for a minute, y'all. Anyways, I'm back. Anyways, like, people want to ask you, why you so cold? Why you so intense? Why you so, um, whatchamacallit, like, so, like, I don't know what they be saying, but so, like, I want to say bold, but more so, like, like, your presence is going to speak so loud and they was listen, men and women, bro. This is not even about the female attraction shit no more. This is how it is. Like, and you won't have so much of a confidence, bro. It, like, you're going to walk with that shit. Like, 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 like you own this shit, bro. I'm telling you. Now, it's the difference between me, you being confident and you being cocky. If you being cocky, bro, that's automatically... That is like people can tell when you automatically cocky, but when you confident, I'm telling you. And on top of that, bro, I be like scaring people too. Like I can just be walking right by myself and chilling, and all of a sudden, like like a dude or a female can look behind me and be like, "Oh shit!" Like who the fuck? Is, like they just be scared of my presence, right? And and a Bible, right? Like, in the Bible, it describes when you are on your journey, people are going to be intimidated by you. Because you automatically do what the most high intended you want to do. Be on semen retention, bro. I'm telling you. And this is crazy because I never really experienced this. I never really had this. Especially when the last time I done this, um, the first 10 months that I did this, I never really done this. But this is wild, bro. This is unbelievable. And it, it and it kind of scared me because sometimes you would be like, bro, like what the like what the fuck is wrong with me? Like there's nothing wrong with me. Like why y'all so afraid of me? But now I understand that I think it's just intimidation because you can see people through their bullshit. You can see through what they do, what what they can't do, bro. It's so fucking obvious, bro. So understand when you are on this journey, y'all y'all see the glow, but. When you are on this journey, you're going to be intimidated by, it. and that's it. and that's a good thing because you're on the right path. That's how men is supposed to be. Men is not supposed to be weak and emotional. That's women. Women are supposed to do that. So understand when you are on semen retention, you're going to be very, very, very intimidated. Whoa, hold up. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that's so fucking spider. Like, bro, hold the fuck up. Like, that shit, bro, that shit really threw me, threw me off. But you're going to be very, very, very intimidated. So understand, when you want semen retention, yeah. All right, y'all. This video was well, going to be that long anyway. I want y'all to like, subscribe, and share this, and share this video. Oh my god, like they got spider webs all over the place. And share this and, sh and share this video. And please hit that notification button so y'all won't miss out. Alright y'all, I'm out. Peace before these fucking spiders get me. I'm out.